Ignatian Week, Innovation Center, and Presence Day. Good morning, Belen. I'm George Perez. And I'm Javi Yanez, and WBLN starts right now. Ignatian Week will be taking place on March 9th through the 13th. This year's theme is Faith That Does Justice, Forum With Others. In addition, Campus Ministry will be selling t-shirts and socks. The proceeds from the sale will benefit Hogar de Cristo, a public charity in the Jabon, Dominican Republic. The items are available for $10 each online at www.belenjesuit.org slash Ignatian Apparel. The sale will last until February 20th. Construction of the Roberto Sigo Sueta Innovation Center is in progress. Work on rough electrical plumbing, framing, and installation is continuing nicely. The Innovation Center will become the epicenter of our STEAM program and is scheduled to open in the fall. Many times here at Belen, we are asked to fill in the void where help is needed. Esteban Incon felt the need to teach robotics to underprivileged kids. Carlos Perez Abreu has the story. In the heart of Little Havana, senior Esteban Rincon teaches underprivileged kids robotics. I used to volunteer every Saturday at Breakthrough Miami STEM Academy. So I did that in my freshman and in my sophomore year. And um, at the end of sophomore year, I found out that the program was ending. And at Breakthrough, I also used to work with inner city kids. And it was to get them involved in the STEM field. And I really enjoyed going every Saturday. And I grew close to a lot of the kids there and I formed like meaningful relationships with them and I saw the impact that robotics had in their lives so I wanted to continue that positive impact and I knew that St. John Bosco didn't have a robotics program because I had volunteered here before at the Leadership Learning Center so I reached out to the director Susie Del Rego and I uh, proposed the idea of starting a robotics program here. It was a usual day after school and I basically they called me out and they said something about a robotics program and since I was in my school and I asked for a robotics program because I used to go to a robotics club, um, the, um, I joined them because it, since I really like robotics since I was a little kid, I enjoyed doing it. Yeah, so a lot of these kids have never worked in robotics or anything in the STEM field. Uh, because a lot of them come from underprivileged communities. Um, so by giving them the opportunity to work with hands-on learning, such as building their own robots and doing activities such as the one you just saw of having them build a tower with spaghettis and marshmallows, um, that serves to inspire them and encourage them to pursue uh, careers in the field of engineering. Esteban Rincón is currently a Silver Knight nominee and will attend Stanford next fall. It's truly inspiring to see how much he impacted these kids' lives. For WBLN, I'm Carlos perez -Abri. The Boy Scouts of America have filed for bankruptcy. Rick Garcia Montes has more. The Boy Scouts of America has filed for bankruptcy, a sign of the century-old organization's financial instability as it faces some 300 lawsuits from men who say they were sexually abused as scouts. The Boy Scouts has been exploring the possibility of bankruptcy since at least December of 2018 when the group hired a law firm. Every third Monday of February, we celebrate President's Day. Andres Fernero has more on why we celebrate the federal holiday. President's Day. Another federal holiday when all students and teachers have the day off. But what is President's Day? Since 1971, this federal holiday has been celebrated on the third Monday of February every year. But why? The history behind this federal holiday dates back to the first ever president, George Washington. The holiday was originally dubbed Washington's birthday, being celebrated when he was alive and even after his death. People honored the occasion with balls and banquets and did so in remembrance of what Washington did for the nation as the first ever president. February 22, 1732 was the date of Washington's birth and became a federal holiday in 1879. As of today, we celebrate the holiday on the third Monday of February after a law in 1968 mandating that a number of federal holidays occur on Mondays. So as we go on, on another day of, off of school, we should remember the reason why we celebrate this holiday. For
What's up, Wolverines? Here are your sports news for today. The varsity basketball team playing against Miami Northwestern this past Friday night and lost 40 to 50. It was an unfortunate loss in the district finals, but congrats to our Wolverines for making it there. The varsity soccer team played against Heritage High this past Saturday night and won 2 to 0. The team now moves on to the regional finals and faces Okeechobee next. Good luck, Wolverines. The varsity baseball team faced off against West Broward High Monday afternoon and won 5 to 3. In the NBA, the All-Star Weekend in Chicago came and went with great moments and a controversial win. The skills challenge came down to big man of the Miami Heat, Bam Adebayo, and forward of the Pacers, Demontis Sabonis. Bam Adebayo, who was the least favored to win, came out on top as the winner of the 2020 skills challenge. The dunk contest came to its final two contestants and did not disappoint. Derek Jones Jr. and Aaron Gordon both had spectacular dunks to the end, but the judges stirred up some controversy after giving Derek Jones a 48 on a dunk that surely was a 50. Shortly afterwards, to seal the win, Aaron Gordon dunked over a 7'5 taco fall, but was given a 47. As a result, the dunk contest winner was Derrick Jones Jr., one of the two Miami Heat players to win challenges this weekend. To cap off All-Star Weekend, Team LeBron and Team Giannis went head-to-head -head after long anticipation. Team LeBron came out on top 157-155 to 155, off of Anthony Davis's two made free throws in the final seconds of the game. The Kobe Bryant MVP award was given to Kawhi Leonard, who had 30 points in the game and went 8 for 14 from three-point land. In the NHL, the Florida Panthers faced off against the San Jose, Jose Sharks and won 5 to 3 this past Monday night. The Panthers kept the lead throughout the game and was able to seal the win, scoring three goals in the last period. In the, in the XFL, the DC Defenders faced off against the New York Guardians and won 27 to 0. It marks the first shutout of the season for the XFL, and Cardale Jones keeps proving his case for the league's MVP with 237 yards throwing and two touchdowns and one interception. They face the 0-2 Los Angeles Wildcats next week at Los Angeles. That's all for your sports. Now back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Andres. To end off the show, here's some lighthearted stories. The iconic Cinderella Castle, Walt Disney World, and Magic Kingdom will be getting a new makeover. Work will start in the coming week with the renovation commemorating the 70th anniversary of the Cinderella movie hitting theaters. On President's Day, Blake Walenda performed a 200-foot skywalk between two hotel towers in Honolulu. He was up 14 stories in the air, walking on a tightrope while carrying a 50-pound balance pole and facing strong Hawaiian winds. That's starting to today. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm George Perez. And I'm Javi Stay golden, Wolverines.